Hello Georgia, we're holidaying on the Goa Peninsula in a fabulous house picked by who will show you out the front. It's not very nice today but it's clearing up lunchtime. And we're overlooking, um, I'll show you in a minute, Three Cliffs Bay. If we turn around, this is here. There's also upstairs here. I'll show you downstairs first. So we're coming through here. Bedroom, bathroom, come back round, come through here, we have another bedroom which I'm using as my dressing room, we come through here and we have a wet room, a loop. Now, if we go up these stairs, the two sofa beds. One one of these is a sofa bed, as is. This corner one, that's the sofa bed. And there's another blue face and whatever here. Lady of the house down here reading. So we look outside and that is Three Cliffs Bay Beach and from our back gate we've got a footpath down to it. I'm going to see somebody walking the dog down there already. So it's clearing up later we'll do a bit of filming outside in a minute. This is the front of the house. Just walk around to the side. There's a little grand up there. And then we can walk through the gate. There's a footpath that leads down to Three Cliffs Bay. Three Cliffs Bay Beach, beautiful beach. So today we're doing a walk down to Three Cliffs Bay. So Ben decided he's not. It's a beautiful morning and I think Georgia will go to the left via the castle. of Pennard Castle. We're actually walking on, on the side of the Pennard Golf course so we're watching out for stray balls and then we come across
the beach. Forward hand. A fabulous view out to the beach. Don't you think, George? Oh. And we're heading this way. Oh God, we think we found a, a dead dog. How on earth did that get here? It's not a dead dog, it's a log. Two different ways of coming across. Yeah. Come on, Ben. Whoops. <laughs> Come on. It looks like a drowned rat now. <laughs> Benny! This really is a huge beach. In the distance you might just be able to see um, the English coastline Exmoor, that's sort of a uh, Lynmouth area. Just got back from our walk, which is quite tiring. Now um, George is relaxing on the balcony. You have to drive up an unmade track of about half a mile to get to the house. And there are some horrendous potholes. When we got here, it was just getting dark. You couldn't really see the potholes and we didn't really know where the house was. So it was not easy, was it, Hun? No, Hun. Oh, my back. We nearly fell out. What? What? We nearly fell out. I nearly fell out of the car. <laughs> no, I nearly pushed you out. <laughs> Okay, anyway, today we're going to Caffin Bryn, which is a, a hill that runs uh, the length of Gower, and we're going to walk along the Gower Way. Okay, we're at the start of our walk. Um, we have to walk up over there, and then along, about seven miles along the Gower Way. And the hill is called Caffin Bryn, but just to the left, some little Welsh ponies. A 
looking down on Three Cliffs Bay, where we walked yesterday. So coming along from Three Cliffs Bay, that is Oxwich Bay. For the last time we was here, Georgia went for a swim. Look at the um, sea shimmering, it's beautiful. Oxwich Bay there. We're walking along Kevin Bryn and on the other side are the salt marshes and then you come down to Flanethley. I think that's how you pronounce it, Georgia? Right, we're having a bit of a rest because we're a bit puffed. We've come from there. Well, no, not from there. That was a hill. But about another couple of miles the other side of there. So we're now looking down the other side of Kefflin Bryn to the estuary on the other side. We had a fabulous walk along Kefflin Bryn. Quite tiring now. Had a bite to eat. Come back to the house. And now, on the balcony, having a cup of tea. Today we're being a bit cultural, so we're going to visit some castles. The first one is Oystermouth. At last, I've got Georgia where she can't retaliate. <laughs> Castle's undergoing quite a bit of restoration. Under the watchful eye of the architect, Ms. Reelin. Fabulous view through the windows. Sat down on Oystermouth Seafront having a sandwich. I have to say it's not a very nice beach. We've come along um, to a little village called Flankenneth and we're about halfway along Rossily Beach. What a beach!
This morning we're going for a walk um, across the dunes, across Pennard Golf Course, I, I believe. So I'm not sure if it tells me. Is that correct? Yeah? Apparently so. Right, because she's... Steal a golf buggy. Lots of golfers out there. Benny's going to have fun fetching their balls. There's an old saying, all the gear, no idea, and I think in this case that is absolutely true. Well, I think we've made it through the golf course on Scraith, although there's one or two wayward shots winging about our heads. We have a problem, we are completely and utterly lost. Shall we go that way? Do we go that way? Do we go that way? Or do we go that way? Oh, we don't know. I found a nice beach, but I don't think we're going to go down on it because we're trying to find a way back to a cafe or somewhere to something to eat. The hill in the far distance is Kevin Brin, where we climbed the other day. Well, we found a cafe and we're now having a bite to eat. And my hand was a Sherpa extraordinaire. I was beginning to panic, but she said, no, I know where we're going. The new hand. This morning, after a very, very misty start, which is beautifully sunny now, we're going to Rossili to the National Trust Strip Farming, which is um, a restoration of the strip field system used in medieval times. Maybe we'll find something. Well, we've come down to Rossili again. That was the beach we were on the other day, but we were the other end of it. But today we're going down this way. That in the distance is Worm's Head. And we're going off to see the National Trust strip farming, which is on the left. We're into the strips of the land now. And this was all sunflowers. It must have been magnificent when it was out. And the next one to it again, where the, uh, the fields were divided by banks. Imagine what that looked like when it was out, full of sunflowers. This one is um, hay. I think it was so much nicer when fields were, were small like this, but I suppose in today's uh, day, time and whatever, that it wouldn't be economic. Fields have to be large. This um, would be oats. What George and I were saying though is they're going to have to be careful that it doesn't just all go to weeds. Because I don't think they're going to use any um, pesticides on it at all. We've done the um, National Trust strip farming so we've walked on to Worms Head. And if you look now uh, the sea mist is coming in very quickly and Worms Head is practically shrouded in it. I think we'd better start our return, Han, or we could be trapped. From um, this view, you get a better idea of the strip farming. Well, we've come to the end of our holiday. 
left the house, just stopped off at Three Cliffs, Three Cliffs Cafe for a very nice breakfast with lava bread. Um, no, last look at the sea. We've been so lucky with the weather, haven't we? Right, we're off now to Cardiff to pop in to see Bee.